Welcome to another edition of Training Homer. Today, I want to show you how to introduce Homer to retrieving the hand. If you have a spaniel or a lab or any type of hunting dog who likes to pick things up and carry them around, but not necessarily bring them back to you, if they're young enough and small enough, here's a great way to get them to do that. You can see I'm in the house in a hallway. There's no way for a dog to get past me at this point. Tennis ball in hand. With this, I'm going to have Homer go pick it up and he's forced to come back to me. Now, you'll notice whenever he comes back to me, I'm not immediately going to snatch this out of his mouth. I'm going to sit there, praise him, love on him a little bit, let him know that he's good for bringing it back to me, letting him know that he's good for sharing what he's got with me, and then I'll gently take it away from him. Also, you may see that Homer is in a crate, a blue crate right here in front of me. Anytime I have him out, if I can't control what he's doing, he's in a situation where he is controlled. So that way he's not learning any bad habits when he's out playing by himself. So I'm going to turn my back to you and we're going to see how this goes at first. Homer here. Good boy. Good boy. And just so you can be able to see, whenever I have my back to you, I'm going to hold him between my legs like this with a hand in, in front of his chest. So that way I can control when he goes also. Um, he's very excited about retrieving and carrying things around as you can see he is with this ball But I want to make sure that he knows when I want him to go So I'll wait for him to calm himself just a little bit and then as I release him I'm gonna say his name which later in life. That's his cue for picking up a mark retrieve So I'll turn my back to you Toss the ball to the end he calms Homer good boy good boy and see he, he brings it back to me. Good boy. I'm going to pet him just a little bit. It's a big ball, so he drops it. That's all right. Good boy. Good. Now I'm going to reach in. Drop. And as I'm taking it away from him, I want to say the word that I'm going to use again later in life for him to, to let go of something, which is for me is drop. So let's do this one more time, and I'll show you again. Calms. Homer. Good boy. Good. And even if he wanted to get past me, there's no way that he can. He comes right back to me. After I get him doing this pretty consistently, to where I can trust him, I'll take him outside and I, I have a, an area outside that is just a, a little fenced in tunnel, if you will, um, that we can do the same thing outside. But again, it's a change of environment. There's grass, there's birds, there's smells. Um, and we'll get him doing that consistently in the tunnel. And then we'll see if we can trust him going um, on a retrieve without any kind of barriers to let him run away. So there you go. The first retrieves intro to delivery to hand. Without this tunnel, I can assure you that Homer was not gonna bring it back to me, but with the tunnel, it's a good experience for him and he gets to, he gets to have the ultimate win. So we'll see you back again for another training Homer tip.